From Yannick first says, can you help a little about how to conduct a proper assessment as a CSA? I've been thinking about this. I've been getting a few questions about doing this. And uh, I actually do these assessments. This is actually part of my job. And I've done them in the past. I've done self-assessments. I've done external assessments, internal assessments, interviews. I've done scanning. I've done all that, everything, all that stuff. So I'm thinking about doing a course on a CSA. But can I tell you a little bit about how to do a proper assessment? Yes. I totally can talk about this. All right, so it depends on the type of assessment, first of all. There's different kinds of assessments. And I break it up into like two main kinds. Really three, there's three main kinds. The first one is like a self-assessment. That's like you are an ISO, or you are a system security analyst, or a system security, cybersecurity person in your organization. And you, you manage, you are overseeing 20 different systems, right? Like, or a floor of systems. And you are the security guy for that, those systems. And you know you're having an inspection soon, and you want to make sure that you don't have any crazy vulnerabilities out there. So you would conduct a self-assessment, meaning you would run your own scan and look at your own data. You would interview people who are sitting on the laptops and desktops and say, and ask them if they know the security policies. You would ask them to sit down and let you know, like you would sit down with a system administrator and say, hey, let's make sure the audit logs are on. So there's a self-assessment. There's an internal organizational assessment. That's where somebody from your organization comes from another unit, comes over, and they scan your network, they do interviews, they conduct all that stuff. Then the last one is like a third party where another outside organization, let's, let's say you work at Oracle, and Oracle has a huge contract with the federal government, and you have an outside organization from the Department of Homeland Security come in and do a, a quick audit of your network, an IG inspection. And they're doing outside networks. They look doing it the inside scans of your network, and then they're looking at your policies, your GPOs. Or they're doing interviews and stuff like that. So those are the three kinds of assessments that you can do, right? And there's, and there's many other kinds that are not even technical, or there's management ones or whatever, right? But we're not talking about those. We're talking about these three. How do you do it? I'll, explain it as simple as possible. Number one, you do a plan, a security assessment plan. The security assessment plan breaks down the who, what, when, where, and why of the actual assessment you're going to do. Now, obviously, if you have an, a self-assessment and you're just doing it for your own purposes to prepare your network for a ongoing IG inspection or something, you probably don't need to do a security ac uh, assessment plan. But if you're doing an annual security assessment plan, yeah, you need to do some documentation for you talking about who is going to conduct it, when is it going to be conducted, what's the scope of the of the assessment, meaning are you just doing scanning systems or are you looking at documentation policies and procedures, are you going to do a physical walkthrough, are you doing wireless, what are you doing, that's the scope. And then when are you doing it and who does this go to? Once you're done with it, who does it? Where does it? You're going to save it, right? In all three of the types of assessment, that's what you're going to do. You're going to do a security assessment plan. Once you have the security assessment plan and it's all documented, the next step is to actually implement the security assessment plan. When you implement it, if you have to meet with anybody, you're going to schedule when you're going to actually conduct the actual assessment. And that means you need to send them the actual plan and say, here's the plan. And usually when you give them the plan, they can send you any information that you need to do the assessment. Or uh, that includes approvals. That includes guest lists. Like if you need to get them on a guest list or you need to go to their facility and do a guest list there, then you need to set all that stuff up. And then finally, you implement all that stuff. You do the scan. You do the interviews. And then all of those reports go up to whoever's going to have the final say-so on the, whoever accepts the risk, that which would be your head of agency or the CIO or 
information system, system security manager. So I hope that answers your questions. It's just security assessment plan, coordinating with the people you're scanning with, documenting, and then when you document, it's going to go on what's called um, a risk assessment report or an RAR. Then there's many different names for it. And then that document, that risk assessment or report, will go up to whoever uh, holds the risk for the organization. That's, in a nutshell, that's how, how you do it. And there's lots of other details, but that, that will have to be fleshed out in a complete course, which I'm, I'm not gonna, I don't know when I'm going to be able to work on that. 